Hey friends, welcome to Stocks and Crypto Place. Today I'm talking about AMC stock. It's down another 22% today, Ape and AMC combined. And yesterday it was down 21%. So what's that, like 42, 43% in two days thanks to the yes vote? I've been telling you this. I told you literally this exact thing. <laughs> but, you know, the people that voted yes, I don't understand why you would do such a thing. Now you can see the results of just blindly following Adam Aaron. And also now you can see Adam Aaron is fully exposed as um, a leader of organized crime to take the value away from AMC and Ape. Also, um, Antara is getting ready to sell 200 million Ape shares. And you take a look at Credit Suisse. Here's a piece of good news. Credit Suisse, I said in my previous video, I think it was like two, three videos ago, I said I think Credit Suisse is the next bank slash financial institution to fail. If that does happen, that's good news because they've been shorting AMC for a long time now. They've been at war with AMC uh, shareholders. Um, and their, their stock just hit an all-time low today. Uh, so that's good news for the apes. Um, also, their leading shareholder put out a statement saying that they could not provide any more liquidity for Credit Suisse Bank. So that's great news for us, friends. Amid all this uh, fire and lava and um, destruction that we're having right now due to the vote, due to the proposition that Adam Aaron put through to destroy us retail shareholders, uh, he got what he wanted. Um, and. We knew he was going to get a yes vote because he partnered with the hedge funds. He sold them all the ape they needed. They bought more AMC. They did everything they needed to do. And how do we even know that that vote was uh, done properly? Because we don't. Because I'm hearing in the comments from a lot of you friends from Canada and Norway and Mexico and Germany, all across the world, where you're saying that you didn't get to vote your shares. Also, we found out that um, anyone who didn't vote was converted to a yes vote. Um, also, we found out from the live uh, audio that only about 60 to 65% of the shareholders actually voted. So there's a lot of um, things that just don't look right in this play. And now you see the stock crashing AMC and Ape, which I did say every video for about two months, I said this would happen and it would be a lot worse if we didn't have this court case in the background to save us. So that's the one thing that could potentially save us is this court case in where AMC is being sued, claiming that Ape is illegal, which I do agree that Ape is illegal. Um, also, I found out some information about the court case in Delaware. Uh, I'm going to post right here in the video. Um, if you want to send a letter to the judge slash chancellor, she's being referred to as a chancellor, which I looked up. What is a chancellor? And it's similar to a judge. Um, they have similar powers. Um, she is gonna be presiding in this case. I post it right here so you can see um, the information and also the contact information I'm gonna post here so that you can contact this um, court and always be very respectful to them. Um, you gotta remember, I mean, I'm sure you people all know this, but anytime you deal with a court or any court official or anyone who works for the court, you have to show them 100% full respect and dignity at all times. So whatever you say to them on the phone, whatever letter you write to them, make sure you are fully 100% respectful. Okay, but I do recommend you send a letter and explain to them our side of the story, what is going on so that this judge slash chancellor uh, can do something to help us and hopefully she will decide that ape is illegal. I mean, there's going to be a whole legal team um, that is fighting for us on the side of this retirement fund group um, and hopefully they do a good job. But I do believe that if we send letters as quote unquote friends of the court, that would be a good thing. You know, if the judge reads some of these uh it could help us potentially. I'm not saying it will. I'm saying it could. It can't hurt to just try. So that's the updates on AMC Ape today. Um, wow. Can you believe even Ape is crashing too? <laughs> Ape is supposed to get converted into AMC and that's crashing too. It's like, what is going on? But it's just bad news. This vote is bad news. And I think all intelligent investors know 
um, that it's bad news. And this whole play from the beginning was to get the shorts out of hot water, like I've been saying. The whole play, the whole reverse split, the whole ape and the AMC was all set up by Adam and Aaron, Adam Aaron and the hedge funds to get the short sellers out of hot water and to help them to get out of the naked shorting that they did and to return the shares at, a, at the lowest possible price so they can get out of the trouble that, that they're in. But we're not, you know, they're not taking us out without battle scars because you can see the banks going out of business, liquidity drying up from this. You can see credit suisse in serious trouble. Um, so they're going to be in trouble too. So we're in quite a war with these hedge funds. Um, we still, this play is still not over because we have till the end of April. I think it's April 27th where, you know, the court case is going to start technically so it's probably it's gonna be longer than april so it's not like april is gonna be april 27 is gonna be the day like there's a decision on that day it's you know the court case is gonna start in a sense so we're gonna see what's gonna happen hit like subscribe and share with your friend have a great day